Welcome to King of the Palace Tag Team Doubles Tournament. To my right, the returning champs, the team of Halberdow and Monaghan. Welcome back, guys. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a while since you uh, got a chance to defend your titles. You've been ch chomping at the bit, waiting to come back? Absolutely. Yes, yes sir. Well, um, what are your thoughts about bowling against no Lowell and Nesta, two former champs? Anybody else? Just like anybody else. Not giving me much to work with here, you know. Never do. That's true. That's true. <laughs> what about you, Chris? I don't know. I haven't bowled against them in a while, so we'll see what happens. No trash talking? No, nah, not yet. All right, I'm going to go to these guys because I know there's going to be a little trash talking over here. The number four seeds with a roll-off score of 755, Lowell and Nestor, and that's for six strings, just so everyone's aware. Uh, welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks, Dennis. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to start with him because I really don't like you. So, uh, Jimmy, yeah, a little bit. How are you okay. feeling? I'm doing well, thanks. Thanks for asking. What are your thoughts on all bowling the champs? How are they doing? I, I don't know. Ask them. <laughs> how are you guys doing? You good? Yeah? yeah. Halfway. All right. <laughs> Can't get, can't get the tongue? I, apparently, yeah. No one wants to give me anything. It's, afraid. They're afraid, yeah. The, 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 four, the new champs are going against the former champs. What are your thoughts? That's enough. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get him. I'm sorry. So how do you do? Listen, I'm just happy I made the cut without bowling you. That's true. Every time so, he's made the cut so far, we've been bowling on the same lanes. Today, what didn't happen. I'm proud of you. I, I, I appreciate it. Listen, I, I, I appreciate the encouragement very much, Dennis. One thing I've been, I've been saying this to Johnny Blaze all the time. Ever since you two started bowling duck pin, it's helped your canopy game a great deal. Do you agree with that? Uh, yes and no. Not really. I mean, I kind of, I've been plateauing for the last five or so years. I know they still stink at duck pin, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I noticed it does help you with your approach and your form. I will say that. Well, we won't talk about how I fell last week and broke my hand, but we won't talk about that. No, let's, let's elaborate. I, I fell and uh, broke my left hand. It's funny because, and I'm not laughing because I did the same exact thing bowling in the Friday Night Pro League. I broke my thumb off, so I, I feel you. I still see your thumb, though. You didn't break it off. No, it's reattached. It's, it's actually reattached right now. I'm so happy for you, Dennis. <laughs> well, I'm just talking because I know it's bothering Nestor a little bit, so. <laughs> hey, let, let's bowl. Let's All bowl. right. Good luck to you guys. Good luck to you guys. I'll see one team in the 11th box. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the King of the Palace. This is the 80% Tag Team World Titles, where the returning champs, Monaghan and Habedel, are facing the number five seed and former champs, Josh Lowell and Jimmy Nestor. Up first on alley four, Josh Lowell. Josh opens up with a nine drop. Hey, Matawa. Oh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. That voice that you just heard. Get over here, please. Give me a big hug. Big hug. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. That is, ladies and gentlemen, the long return you. of Mr. Stephen Bronchuk, who has been out of commission for a while. Josh Lowell, uh, excuse me, Chris Monahan comes out of Townsend, Mass. His average is a 102. He bowls out of Mason's in Lemonshire, Mass. Drops nine there, Dennis. Yeah. Nine bucks, yep. In, uh... Josh Lowe starts with a spear. We have the original three in the booth. Myself, Dennis Nuzzo, and Mr. Steven Bronchuk. You've been missed, buddy. A lot of people have sent their well wishes the entire time you were out. Yo. Yeah, people, thank you. Glad thank you very you much. Six, uh, six on the fill. Judge Josh Lowe comes out of uh, East Brookfield. His average is uh, 114. He, uh, home alleys are Academy Lanes and Bogey Lanes, and also Lucky Strike in Mansfield, Connecticut, which is a duck pit house. That it is. Oh, oh. just slipped by the head pin for the spear. Josh Lowe's shooting the 7 10, takes off the 10. He's 25 after two. The champs and are getting five pins of string handicap. And Chris Moynihan misses the finger of God for 10 and gets a nine. And he's got 18 through two plus his five pin handicap, puts him at 23. A lot of bowling left to go. 
Remember, the tag team is three strings of bowling because it goes really fast. This stuff is quicker than a kick-up, man. Oh, half was still Leaves left. Leaves pal a new palace. Nice ball by the champ. Come on, come on, come on. Wow, yeah. Yeah. All right. Bomb. Josh working nice. on the, the half Worcester right, left. One of them's correct. <laughs> You'll get it eventually. He's left the one, four, five, seven. Oh. Six box, puts him at 31. Chris Moynihan up on lane number three to fill the strike. Chris has been bowling for 27 years. His high single is a 178. His high trip is a 402. <coughs> Thank you for covering that before you did that. It'll blow my good eardrum out. Josh Lowe right on the head pin. Right down the middle of the plate. Leaves the 2-4 with a piece of wood. Chris off to the left. Oh, look at this. Break, look break, at this. Break. Look at this. Throws the ball in the ocean. Leaves the one four seven with a whole bunch of junk on the deck. Oh. Lowell just a bit off. Chris Ponyhan filling the strike. Oh, no. And yeah. throws it with nine. Not bad. Nine, not bad. Josh has been bowling for 20 years. His high single is a 191, and his high trip is a 476. He also has his other high single, 217. And his high trip is a 543. And I'm wondering if that is for duck pin. Yes. That would have been nice to know, Josh. <laughs> AKA shampoo. Gotta keep you guessing. I wonder why they call him shampoo. Because he's so fresh and clean? I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe he's head and shoulders above the rest. Could be. <laughs> or maybe sure. he's all the rave. Could be. You know? maybe, maybe he just has dandruff. <laughs> maybe Josh is just like Pantene. Well, he threw a weak ball to the right and left the one-two. Nice spare leave, and the full Osman left for Chris Moynihan on lane number three for spare. And I will say, um, I don't. Oh, the nice spare by Lowell. Um, the people on YouTube, I answer your questions on the show, uh, not so much off of it, only because when I do answer them on YouTube, you ask me to do it on the show anyway, so I'm thinking, why well, do it twice? So I will be getting to those in a few minutes. Both bowlers sparing in the fifth box. Go after five. The champs are at 62 working on a spear. Lowell and Nestor at 50 working on a spear. Up now on alley four, Mr. Aaron Habedell. Comes out of Warren, Mass. His high average is a 115. His home alleys are Agawam Lanes. Wide right, but drops eight. Spear leaf. On number th alley three, Mr. Jimmy Nestor. Comes out of North Brookfield. His average is a 135. He's been bowling for umpteen years. His high single uh -oh. is a 215, and his high trip is a 497. Aaron knew it, missed it. Dennison still got it. The Bowling it. Guards were with him. That's what happens sometimes. Where are you going with this? To the right of the head pin, Dennis? Uh, left. I'll go um, left. Yeah, right. so try to shoot that. Yeah. Try yeah. to shoot that ball into the deadwood. Yeah, I would throw the pin over to the three. Oh, he went oh, that way. Hey, That's way why he's right. doing it, and we're not. Yep. I want to give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru. Visit buynorthend.com or visit them in person and see Marty Babineau and his excellent sales staff on a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. And also, another great sponsor, go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling and see my great friend George do parodies on candle pin bowling, duck pin bowling, 10 pin bowling. And I've always, I've always made uh, comments of what else he does. Um, he does videos on Minecraft and Baldi's basic in education and learning. And he need, he also does Arcade 1-Up and Let's Play games. Um, that's his new and upcoming thing. And speaking of which, Nine. George was gracious, gracious enough to turn around and whoever wins the King of the Palace, the two champs will be able to throw a one ball box and whoever wins champion versus champion will get a pac-man one-up game donated by watch we suck at bowling in george that's unbelievable it's a great great gift you know great motivator first time ever that's why we uh, we can do what we do you know we have great sponsors and awesome viewers the 16 cities oh. and towns 
Ooh. Thank you for oh. tuning in and watching the King of the Palace. We can't do what we do without you. We're up to 892 subscribers. Almost there, baby. Let's get that thousand before season end. I just want to say this, okay? My daughter watches, sometimes watches the show, and she makes fun of us because there's like a whole bunch of a lot of different YouTube channels out there. Yeah. And she says, Dad, you're not even at a thousand yet. <laughs> We're trying. So, <laughs> We're trying. So for all you Facebook people out there, man, like it, share it. Let's get to a thousand by the end of the season. Absolutely. So I can prove to my daughter that you know what, what we do is awesome. Oh, nice ball by Could be back Aaron. door, and it is. Oh, he did. Oh, he Aaron did. You saw it. I didn't see it. Dennis, piece of wood roll back into it. Dennis. Jimmy Nesta with a four horseman left. Leaves the one three right six ten. And I also want to say a uh, big thank you to Academy Lane and the Cabrero family. Is that spare? Nice spare, yes. yeah. Nice shot. Uh, for hosting the Worlds. They did a fantastic job as they normally do. And uh, congratulations to the winner, Academy Lane. I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. And by the time this is aired, it should be just about Christmas time. Yeah. So we want everybody here at King of the Palace. The New oh. Palace Lanes, on behalf of Watch Me Suck at Bowling and North End Mazda Subaru and FATV. Myself, Dennis oh, Nuzzo, oh, oh. Stephen Bronchuk, and Amber. We want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Merry, 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 Merry Christmas, Christmas. Hannah Kwanzaa. <laughs> yeah. Covered them all. That David, who? Oh, nice shot. Who we got scoring? Who's our professional scorer? Uh, Rick Santucci. R Rick Santucci, yeah. I just forgot who he was. Oh. It's okay. It's going to take me a while, people, get me back to the fastball. So the champs roll a 128 first string, and uh, Lowell and Nestor are at 121 right now working on a spear. So seven or better, we get an even ball game. Or uh, see what happens. And he and fills with an eight. Goes with an eight, so champs are down one pin. Going into the second string. 129 to 128. want to thank everybody out on YouTube, Land, Facebook, and Local Access for tuning in and watching the King of the Palace. If you want King of the Palace in your neck of the woods, Dennis, tell them what they got to do. Pull up a store and grab some money. Oh. Well, it is Christmas time. Contact the views expressed by Dennis Nuzzo are not that of the King of the Palace. <laughs> no, but I would never if you do, that. we could use a big bag of cash. Yes, that's true. Okay. Uh, oh. con <laughs> contact your local public access provider. Tell them you want King of the Palace. The uh, fill out a piece of paper doesn't cost you anything. They contact us, we stream it to them, and they air it for you. And they pick the day and time that they air it, not us. Up now on alley four. This is quicker than a hiccup, man. So yeah. we gotta both. talk and we'll, we'll rock and roll. Yeah, both bowlers hit the head pin, Dennis. And look at the messes they get first base leaves. No oh, leaves. Monaghan tried to pick it up. It was a great shot. Absolutely highway robbery. No How good does ball that? goes unpunished. <laughs> How does that happen, Dennis? Yeah, that's what we've been saying. Beautiful, beautiful ball. Right in the pocket. More close to it. Well, a little time out here. We have to go down and remove some dead wood people. There's a line in front of the head pin, 22 inches forward. Any pin exceeding that it has to be removed by the... I missed that, Stevie. I missed that. You did not. We actually started calling some of the shots, like the lily and... In honor Five, of seven, Steve, Lily and, gonna uh, take me a while, but it'll come back. The double pinochle and <laughs> the double De my De Dennis would yell, yell out prune juice for everyone. It just feels so good to have to be back then, partner. I know. And I we're glad to have you back, man. I just, you know, I'm sorry, people. Don't be sorry, Stevie. It's all part of the family, man. I told you everybody would welcome you back with open arms, man, and I'm pretty sure that the people are well that, that tune in. The King of the Palace on YouTube and local access to hear your voice and everything will be pouring through. Exactly. It was very difficult, David Dennis. But thank well, you, people. Thank you. That's why you're family, my friend. Oh, look at this. <laughs> of course, Monahan, uh, Monahan on Alley 4. Here's the open check mark. You're going right after His favorite thing. shot is 5-7, no wood. Oh. Now, how did it? I know, I hear you, Chris. <laughs> how did the 10 pin stay up? It wasn't touch. That's right. How did he open bone? Josh Lowell, uh, his favorite shot is the 2 4 10 and the 3 6 7. Well, he's got to wait for the wood to stop, right, Dennis? That's the rules. Yes. Yep. Where are you going? Dead on to the right or to the left? 
I go a little to the left. A little full, but a little to the left. Let's see what happens. Three step approach, drops the shoulder. Oh, oh, just missed it. Just missed it. Okay. Both working on a single for a 10. And he gets Monahan the. Monahan gets his. The corner of the building shot, the 10 pin. And Josh Lowe up to get the finger of God, the head pin. And, and he gets his. Brother. 10 pin. Like David and Dennis always say, people, heavy pin counts. Absolutely. That's right. Pinning is very important. Okay. Nick Lang, thank you for your comments. Terry Culp. Chris Monahan on Alley 4, returning champ. Oh, just Off to the it. left leaves the, the four horsemen, the one, three, six, ten with a piece of wood rolling up against the one and three. And Josh, Josh Lowe, Lowe. Right down uh, the middle of the plate. Look These at are this. an ugly disaster. Look at this. The three, six, seven, eight, and ten with a piece, a couple pieces of wood in the middle of the deck. Oh. A little full. A little full. A lot of sap. But um boom. Favorite movie. That's a movie? Yeah. Christmas vacation. Oh, yeah, a lot of sap, yeah. I get it. That is a great one. It's one, oh. of, my, one of my favorites. If I had to pick a Christmas movie, that would that would be it. That's one of my favorite movies. Ooh. Ooh. Both, both pole was a little bit off there, guys. Chris Monaghan, his least favorite shot is any shot that doesn't go. Understandable. Shout out to Sawling Whale Dogs Dude, Washington, Tennessee. Good show, and I'm glad you're all back. Can't wait to see the next match. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, man. Thank Appreciate you. it. Chris drops uh, seven. The, leaves a two, four, seven. Josh down the middle of the plate, and he leaves he's the four, seven. Both uh, bowlers. Four. Uh, two, four, sorry. Both bowlers leaving pins on the left side. Both bowlers have the ball in the right pocket. Yeah, but Josh's wood is ugly. Yeah, I have no idea, Dennis. I mean, Chris's wood is Chris's ugly. Yeah. ugly. I'm, oh. Yeah, yeah. oh, whoa. That would, that's an idea, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Josh Lowe got a shot at a nice spear. Oh! Josh gets the spear. Put the, the hard way. Yeah, put the two off the sideboard. Some days they're all the hard way. Yeah. Side curtain. And a nine, nine box for the champ. Puts them at 40, and jo Lowell and Nestor at 34, working on the spear. If you want to leave a comment for King of the Palace, you can either Facebook Live, Facebook myself, um, I usually try to answer every single question that comes in. And if you want to go via YouTube, Dennis will answer them. And if he doesn't, he will answer the questions at the next King of the Palace. Oh. Yeah, I usually do them on the show. Wow, look at this. Look at this. He throws the ball oh. in the ocean, leaves the one, three, and five with a couple pieces of wood. Between and a nine. Oh, excuse me. The one, three, five, nine. Well, we're throwing a spare with eight. Josh, one five. Josh Lowe's wide left and leaves the one five. How, how can you? How can the pins go down? Or how, I'm not even getting in there. Oh, nice oh, shot! Nice shot. shot! Nice shot! Sets his partner up nice, coming in to fill his spear. Well, you got to kneel the head pin directly on Josh. Yep. Oh, no, missed it all. Missed it all. Yeah. Not a very easy thing to do. Looks easy, Dennis, but it isn't. Yeah, nothing's, easy. I, I, nothing's <laughs> easy in this game. You're right. The greatest game in the world. And eight box puts them at 50 for the half, and the champs are at 50 working on a spare for the half. So it's still a one pin difference right now. The champs are down one pin minus the fill. And shout out to Drum Machine, Tom Riley watching from Lakeland, Florida. I love you, Scally. Okay, Jimmy Nestor up. First ball. Finds the head. Oh, look at this absolute disaster. And Aaron throws a weak ball and leaves a spear. Well, would you call it a spear? Well, anytime the head pins up, it's a spear. Look at this. He drops eight on the spear. Yeah. <laughs> of course, Jimmy Nestor, you know, always the, always the, uh, the one upper and, and jokester. His favorite shot, pick a single, then I leave. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh. Mm, I don't know if that's going to have enough juice on it. It may. Oh, I think the other oh, one just uh, knocked it in. Good out out of that from Jimmy. From Nate. You know what I'm noticing, Dennis and David? Jimmy Nestor leading his first ball is not his white ball. 
Some people are superstitious. To play. I don't think he's ever done that on the show, though. That I don't know. Yeah. What do we got, Dennis? After six, Havadell and Monahan at 67, Lowell and Nestor at 58. Champs are up eight pins right now. When, Jim, when Jimmy's not bowling, he's a construction geek. Oh. His words, not mine. We saw they both, both wide left, and Aaron comes up with the one, three, six, spear leave. Jimmy Nestor got to get the hit pin. And he oh, does. Oh, beautiful shot. Oh, man, nice he shot. just splattered them. Aaron's occupation, he works at Mason's and pretty much is the chief cook and bottle washer. Nine Phil, I see nine what? Bonds. Chief cook and bottle washer. At Mason's? Yep. I didn't know they had a restaurant there. No, he just does everything there. Oh, I got you. I thought he was throwing me, I'm like. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy oh, drops five this. on the spare. Hey, Aaron, I hear you. Buries the ball, and look at this. Sometimes throwing the ball hard doesn't really help you. Yeah, Six, seven, one. nine. Unbelievable. Jimmy Nestor wide right on the spare attempt. Where are you going, Dan? Is he going to play the wood? Yeah, I, he, oh, almost. I would have went to the other side and tried to shoot something over, but. Yeah. Nesta with a nine box, puts him at 82. And Halbadel with a 10 box puts him at 86. Two to go. Three pin difference right now. 86 and yeah, three pin. Okay, let's see what happens. Second string for the One first of the round. comments we had on YouTube said these announcers are effing brutal, but I don't know who, I'm not saying that person's name. Because I oh. Which, where was that? Like, who was that? I don't know who that is, but I'm not reading that name. Um, Why you, not? Because I, it's not appropriate for the air. You're probably oh, not realizing yeah. what it says. I got it. Yeah, now you got it? <laughs> yeah. Um, we're brutal. We're brutal? Um, hey, yeah. Yeah, hey to, whether to you like it or you love it, you know, it's the best thing going, man. I bet you thought I wasn't going to read that comic because it was negative, but I read them all. Yep, it doesn't matter. Like us, hate us. Learn to love it, baby. I will say your, fir your first name is Craven. I'll put that. Okay, that's all I'm calling you. And uh, <laughs> you, hey, you don't like us, you don't like us. That's fine. Paul De Silva, watching from Columbus, Ohio, formerly from Mass. Thank you. Oh, Jimmy Nesta yeah. drops eight, leaves the six ten. Aaron off to the left. left. Drops seven, oh, and he's left a high low, low jack. jack with a whole bunch of jokers on the deck. Jonathan Moe's back, Watson nine five six. Jimmy Nesta shooting the six ten for spare, drills it, nice spare shot. Aaron, high low jack off. missed to start. Super Suzuki Maniac is back. Welcome. Thank you for your comments. Yeah, this is the 80% tag team you're watching. This is quicker than a hiccup, man. So we do three strings so we can get everything in. Um, so if we miss a shot or miss calling something, we apologize because, like I said, you blink, you missed it. Yeah. Jimmy just hit a one on his spare. Ooh. Didn't want to end it like that. That's a tough one. So after uh, after two, Halberdell and Monahan at 105 for a 233. And Lowell and Nesta with a 98 for 227. So six pin difference right now. Champs are up. Here we go. Final string. Win winner moves on. Loser goes home. And one step closer to having that arcade game. I wanted that myself. Yeah. I was only 20 pins off. Bull of 97. Ninja Wardia. Halo Gami. I'm Joseph Moreau from the Academy Lane Saturday Kids League. I want to know if there'll be a kids king of the palace. We need the interest. Uh, so if we can get, I want to do a Kids King of the Palace. We just need to, need a bunch of uh, youth bowlers to uh, show their interest. So have everyone get in touch with us. Have your parents contact us. We get enough people interested, and we'll do one. We just can't have a tournament without the without the bowlers. Up now on Alley Four, Josh Lowell. His occupation is an estimator at Middlesex Corporation and Associates at Staples. He's also a student at UMass Lowell. Dennis, if we do that show with the kids, what age limit? Well, we'd have to work on that. Yeah. Um, Just, yeah. What do you and think? And obviously, we can't give cash out, so it would be gift cards. And I, I already have the top prize in mind, but I'm not going to give that away. What are you going to go with, like uh, age 12 maximum? 
No, it would be probably like 12 to 17. Oh, that way. Okay, yeah. so that end. Okay. Ooh. And it will be handicapped, obviously. Okay, okay both both bowlers struggled here in the first part. But yeah, to please contact us. Contact me yeah. personally on Facebook. A lot of people do that watch the show. Um, they send me firm requests. They send me messages. I answer them all the time. Josh, slow up. Oh, oh, right no, the no, no, Here it goes, no, ladies and gentlemen. No, You've been waiting no, for it. No. How does that happen? I finally have. I finally said it. I uh, can't believe it. Josh Lowe wants to congrats to Matt D and his wife for having the baby girl. Hey, Billy, John should have made. I have no idea. I can't read his writing. It's too small. Sorry, Josh. Chris Monahan just off, leaves the finger of God. Going to shoot for 10. A railroad split for Josh. Low and almost. When for 17. When Chris is not bowling, he works at Apple, Apple Metal, Metal Hardware. He enjoys playing with the boys and watching hockey. And he wants to say thank you to my parents and Leah and Gregory. Okay, Josh Lowe up on lane four. Fires, so wide left. Weasel Mefs. And Chris Morningham up on line, lane three. And he's off to the left. Four Hussman left plus seven. I got a special shout out to make, but I'll wait till after this box is over. So Habadell and Lowell, uh, Habadell and Monahan are actually increasing their lead. Yep, they're up 14 right now, box to box. Back door, goodbye. He's got it. Goodbye. Yeah, come I already started putting it down. <laughs> Dennis, he's got the four husband right. He hits the, the three pin and the six, and he gets a spare. Yep. It's amazing. How does that happen? It's got to be can open bowling. Exactly. So, special shout out to Ryan Cox in Sackville, Nova Scotia. 16 years old, and actually great timing because we have a lane reset. 16 years old. You know what he just threw for a three-string total? No. 508. Wow. Really? 123, 190, 195. And Noah Hill wanted to make sure that we did the announcement. Noah Hill is another great supporter of our show. He is. Um, Thank you, Noah, for sharing. That's very impressive. He's going to be tremendous. He's tremendous now, but, I mean, when he gets a little older, Did you see it. him throw it? I didn't know. He did no. it in Canada. Can oh, Canada. Yeah, he okay. did it in Canada. But yeah, I, I was sure we were gonna give him a shout out. That's a no brainer on that one. That is an awesome feat, man. Congratulations. Oh, well, both bowlers weak again. David Denton. One drop four, one drop three, and ooh, ooh George how did he even just like miss everything. There's not much space between that head pin and that deadwood. Well, and Chris Morton the hand, he missed his archer. Well, both bowlers shooting for ten box. Josh Lowe hoping to get the, t no, he's off. He's left the seven. Seven box, and Chris Moore in the hand. He Ooh. gets a seven. Oh my goodness. Both bowl was struggling. All right, we're up to their half before uh, their partners come in and finish it off. Remember, oh. this is tag team, so you must act as one with your partner. Josh Lowe wants, oh, saw that one coming. Off to the left. Yeah, a little full on that too. And did wow, both. Monahan way off to the right. Takes the MK. A, the MK. Looks to me, Dennis, they're trying to overthrow a little, maybe. Probably pressing a little bit. Pressing, yeah. Yeah, especially low on Nestle, down 19. Yeah. And, uh, Ooh. And nice he, bid. Leaves the 7, 10 for 10. And Chris Moynihan leaves the. Mongo. Two fourth Mongo, one of the six Mongols. I think, right? Yeah, yes. the six, yeah. Oh, wait. Scoop it over. Oh. Nine box put Lowell on Nestor at 40 for the half. Nine and box from Monahan. Nine box from Monahan puts him at 53 for the half. So 19 pins separate the champs from the uh, challenges right now. Champs are up 19 with five boxes to go. Five boxes to go. My own good Jimmy Ned, they take it. Challengers don't have a strike. They have all spare so far. Sometimes that's all you need, man. Yeah. Got to come out with a spare here. Or a strike. 
Okay, Aaron up on lane number four, first of all. Nice delivery, found the head. Oh, look at Drops that. Oh, bomb. bomb. Oh, my. one, and you see one. Perfect, perfect ball. Jimmy Nestor on alley three. No, nope. wide right. Spear leave. The one, two, four. Jimmy's got to put the ball right between the one and the two. And... Oh. Could be back. No. I know. No. Then this, the one pin went down, the fourth pin went down, but the two stood when up. When the lane say no, they yeah. say no. <laughs> but it got hit. Yeah. It's rocking. It's not hot enough. Ten puts him at 50. How the one and the four people can go down and the two stay up, you got me. But it's like I always say, it's can't open ball one. Well, I'm going to tell you what, Jimmy Nestor doesn't turn the juice on, and this is going to be over pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. If he gets a double here. Oh. He, oh, oh, he, he almost did. He almost gets a double. Leaves on the head pin. Jimmy Nestor yeah. off to the right. Yeah, Tiki go press. Yeah, both, these, both Jimmy Nestor and Josh Lowell are very, very good duck pin bowlers. Yes. And I think sometimes that may hurt them a little bit. Maybe. Ted Box puts the champs at 82. And Jimmy Nestor shooting for a 10. And Box puts him at 60. A nice bond wood right in front of the pin. Champs is still holding on to a 28 pin lead going into the last three boxes. Oh, they've got to get a couple of strikes and they need a couple of opens to be opened up. Oh, right. Oh, oh look at this. Aaron the just starting to warm up, too. Right. But at least the 510, better known as what people? The Woolworth. And Jimmy leaves the 1 7. Jimmy needs this to mount the comeback. Right. Especially with Aaron missing that. Jimmy needs this. He oh, Ooh, a little full. hard. Too full. Too full. Drove it. Right straight. I no. think that's I think that might be a hindrance from, from Duck Pin Bowl and the be. heavier ball. Yeah. I'll have to agree with you, David. The Duck Pin Ball is about a pound pound heavier. And obviously, diameter is bigger, too. Go ahead. But it also makes you throw the chemical ball harder. Harder, right? yeah. It does. It does come out. Not down on both. Oh, that's Beautiful it. Beautiful shot. That's that's it. It. That might have sit, that's sealed it. the fate. That's, that's, it. that's sealed it right Even there. if they get four in a row. Well, there's one, I think. Oh, nope. look at this. That's wow. it. Wow. Well, you get a break. Okay. Chance will be retaining. I want to give a shout-out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru and Lindbergh Mass. Visit buynorthend.com. Or go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling and see my good friend George do parodies on Kenlin Pin Bowling, Duck Pin Bowling, and yes, even 10 Pin Bowling. Also, he does parodies on and videos on Minecraft. All these basics in education and learning. And he also has started the Arcade One Up Let's Plays. Um, I know he picked up the Pac Man and the Gaggle. <laughs> Galaga. Thank you. <laughs> Galaga. Wow, I can never even say that when I was a kid. <laughs> you know? Okay, Aaron with a weak ball. And this new one. Doesn't matter. It's all a formality. Still fills with six. Still fills with a six. Jimmy Nesta shooting one of the... S how many... How many... Ba in the baskets out there? A diamond's Dennis one to the four. I also want to thank everybody out on YouTube, Facebook, and local access for tuning in and watching what we do and enjoying it, leaving comments on Canlapin uh, Bowling uh, on Facebook and YouTube. I also want to thank FATV for all their hard work. The OEPD, I want to also wish everybody a very Merry Christmas from myself, Dennis Nuzzo, and of course, the one and only Mr. Stephen Bronchuk. Dennis, give us the rundown. Third string, Habodell and Monaghan with a 116 for a three-string total of 349. Lowell and Nesta with an 88 string with a three-string total of 315. 34-pin win for the champs. Champs had four spears and four strikes, and the challengers had eight spears. So even number of marks, but just the fills and pinning and uh, handicap. Yep. Congratulations to the champs. And Dennis, let's get to the 11th box with the Nuz.
Welcome to the 11th box. I'm standing here with this week's winners, still the champs, the team of Halberdell and Monaghan. Um, not a high, high scoring, but enough to beat them by 34 pins, 349 to 315. Uh, how'd you feel about your bowling? Uh, it wasn't pretty. Wins. Pin, pins fell our way. That's how it happens. That's true. And the same here. Pins fell our way. Happy we just got past that round. So let's see what happens next week. Well, so, you know, sometimes you just bowl against your competition. If the other, the other team isn't bowling so well, you tend to, you know, not intentionally, but you tend to, like, slack off or, you know, a little bit. Right. But next week, um, you got a couple of... Uh, I don't know if the, one of them is a new competitor to the show. I don't know if the show of Dave Dupuis, but he's been on every other show. Um, number three seed, Tom Clausen and Dave Dupuis. Do you know, uh, you know Dave? I do. I've bowled with Dave quite a few times <laughs> against him. Um, I've bowled duck pin with, with Tommy uh, once or twice. So. Oh, cool. So you, you, know, you know your opponents next week. Any, thought, any battle plans going in? Just keep, keep on pinning. Good strategy. Well, I'll see you guys next week, and uh, we'll be back then.